you know, we're talking about all this love in, you know, friendly competitions. Um, there wasn't a love in there at Northside Park. There were, uh, you know, some some bikers there that uh, I think wanted to hear more Leonard Skinner um, and you know Allman Brothers than uh, than the with intent punk rock in your face. It wasn't a love in. It, it turned pretty ugly real quick. And uh, you know there there were people that walked out bleeding from uh, that particular show. White Cross and Frontline played Andre's band that, and Teaser was the big headline band. And and Kurt had set this up, and it was like his big thing. It was like a Amnesty International thing. Yes. <laughs> and and so like these bands and it was played. So not. <laughs> Ron Rieger was the program director of FM 99. Jeff called me up and said, "Well, we only have like a half hour set. Can this band from Richmond, White Cross, come in?" Frontline was was uh, just starting out as a band, and I think they had like four songs, maybe five. And they played first. <laughs> and then like all of a sudden White Cross took the stage and like people went ballistic. I mean, bottles were flying. I mean, it was a riot. Punk rock sucks and all this stuff. We basically got through a song and a half and that's when all the stuff started flying. The beer bottles, the big chunks of ice, the whatever, everything. It was flying up on stage. Uh, we're not talking empty beer bottles, we're talking full beer bottles. And you know, out in the audience were, were families with their kids and stuff. So of course, once that started, everybody started running and you know, different directions and it was just like a big ride. We were all carrying like drum hardware on the way out, so it's like, you know, if anybody's like fucking with it, we're, we're just like take them out with a bunch of drum hardware, you know? That was like my initiation into like the whole, hey, well, great, hardcore is really killer down here, you know? Could have been a final insult to punk rock, but, uh, you know, I, I think for the legions of punk rockers that were there, it just, uh, it was a motivational thing. Anybody who loves punk rock knows that it's not about beating the hell out of each other. Definitely need not get violent, ever. I'm <laughs> sorry.